Hey everyone! This video is a bit different than my normal videos, but if you like it and would like to see more, please hit that thumbs up and leave a comment. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. A write-up of this process can also be found on my blog linked below, and if you're interested in following the van build and travels, give my Instagram a follow too, again linked below. Anyway, this is a quick video on how to perform a fuel injector leak back test on a 2006 Dodge Sprinter, although the process may be applicable for other years and diesel brands as well. This test should take less than 30 minutes and will require some 3 8 inch diameter clear tubing, a wire cutter or some other device for cutting the tubing, a needle nose pliers, a 5 mm Allen wrench, I'm using a Mercedes compatible wrench from Germany, but any 5 mm Allen wrench should work, some kind of storage container, a measuring device, and finally, a medium sized vice grips. To get started, open the hood. With the container handy, identify the top plastic cover with four bolts on the driver's side and three bolts on the passenger side. Using the 5mm Allen wrench, remove all seven bolts. With the bolts removed, carefully remove the plastic cover and put it somewhere safe. This exposes the top of the fuel injectors and the needle nose pliers can be used to carefully remove the retaining clips for the plastic fittings on the return line. With the clips removed, carefully remove the plastic fittings on the return line from the top of the injectors. At this point, the clear tube needs to be cut into five pieces, each measuring around four inches in length. Personally, I measured the length of the first piece and then just used that to roughly cut the remaining four pieces to the same length. After the pieces are cut, carefully push them over the top of each injector where the return line fitting was removed. Use the vice grips to clamp the return line on the downstream side of the fifth fitting. And finally, unplug the camshaft position sensor located next to the fifth injector. This won't harm the engine, but will prevent it from starting for the test. With everything ready, turn the key to the start position and hold it there for roughly 10 seconds. This will allow the engine to crank over and cycle through the starting process several times in which the clear tubes on the injectors will fill with some amount of fuel. The amount of fuel in the tubes can be observed and compared to working tolerances to determine if any of the injectors need replacing. It's also worth noting that this part of the test should be done with the engine at operating temperature for the most accurate results. After the test is complete, I chose to clean the plastic cover before reinstalling it, but this was just a personal preference. The reassembly process is just the disassembly process in reverse. To catch as much of the excess fuel as possible, I wrapped a rag around the bottom of each tube before removing them. Be sure not to forget to plug the camshaft position sensor back in and make sure all the retaining clips are back in place before reinstalling the plastic cover. And the last step is to make sure all the tools and materials for this test are cleaned up and removed from the engine compartment. That's it for this video, and while the intention wasn't to provide any diagnostic advice, I hope it's useful as to the process on how to perform an injector leak back test on a 2006 Sprinter. Also, I'd like to thank Joel from MillionMileSprinter.com for his help and guidance in this process. And as always, thanks so much for watching.